Hey guys, what's going on? Spipbrix here, back for another LEGO Ninjago video, and today we'll be opening up 30 more packs of mystery LEGO Ninjago minifigures. These are the remaining blind bags that I had ordered from a seller on eBay a few weeks ago, and we'll be opening up all of them in this video to see which awesome minifigures we can add to our collection. Of course, if you do go on to enjoy this video, let me know with a like rating down below. Let's try and reach 5,000 likes. That would be amazing. Also, I discovered that I was sent this minifigure pack that has a black Ninjago logo on it instead of a red one. Now, I have no idea if this means that there is an extra rare minifigure in this pack or something special, but I guess we'll find out later on in this video, so stay tuned. Now additionally, I have some very exciting news. Just like my original video, you can enter to win three minifigures of your choice that I open up in today's video by simply subscribing to my channel with notifications turned on, leaving a like on this video, and commenting your three minifigures from this video that you want to win. The winner from part one was a fan named Chase Metal. On screen you guys can see a picture he sent me of his minifigs once he received them, and of course if you guys want to have a chance of winning three Ninjago minifigures, be sure to follow the giveaway rules on screen right now, and also come back to this video in a few days in order to see the winner in the pinned comment down below. Alright, let's go ahead and start opening up these packs because we have a lot of them to go through. Now, if you watched the first video that I did opening up 20 of these minifigure packs, you'll know that we got super lucky. I mean, there were minifigures like the Golden Ninja, the Omega, some crazy minifigures that we got. I won't spoil it in case you guys haven't watched. You guys can watch it after this one. But I'm hoping that these 30 here are just as lucky. And if you guys didn't know, bought this on eBay from a seller who was selling his collection of minifigures in a very creative way using these sort of foil packets and making it into a blind bag. So, very fun to open. Open. And with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. Without further ado, open up our very first pack and see what minifigure starts us off here. The first minifigure is, it's a Serpentine at his Fang Dam from the Fangpire tribe. This pack opening starts off with one of my favorite types of Ninjago minifigures, Serpentine. This guy's name is Fang Dam from 2012. He came in two sets as well as a spinner. The two sets were the Fang Pyre Truck Ambush as well as the Fang Pyre Wrecking Ball. This guy's got two heads. And what's really cool about these packs that you'll notice is that they're not just going to include relevant new minifigures of Ninjago, but also some retro ones like this one, which is always really cool to see. So hopefully this luck continues as we check out the other 29 packs back here. Let's move right along into the second pack for this video and see what else we can add to our collection. The second minifigure is... Oh, it looks like we got Cruncha, the original one. Here's a minifigure you certainly don't see nowadays very often. This is the original Cruncha from the very first year of Ninjago sets. Very cool pickup. He's definitely different than the legacy version of him that we got earlier in 2019. And even hardly even looked like Cruncha. I do love this version of this really large molded headpiece up here. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the third pack. Here's our third pack. It looks like we have a pretty large piece in this one. So let's see what that piece is by opening it up and revealing the minifigure. Oh, look at that. We got Chen, it appears. Look at this piece right here. This was the large piece. Ironically, this snake accessory that the seller included tells us a lot about where this minifigure is from. He's from one of those foil minifigure packs with the magazine. Those are very common in European countries. Here in America, we've just started getting those. But anyways, that's where this minifigure is from. But nonetheless, really cool to get a minifigure from the Tournament of Elements. Alright, let's go ahead and open up yet another minifigure pack here. Now, we haven't gotten any ninja or any protagonist. They've all been villains so far, so I'm hoping for maybe a good guy inside this pack. Let's see who it is. The minifigure is, yes it is, we got a Zane minifigure. More specifically here from, it appears, the final battle season. Let me tell you that these Kimono Ninja minifigures are definitely underrated. These guys are awesome, specifically Zane's here. I love the black and white contrast. Now, the seller was also generous enough to include one of the Elemental Blades here. This one here for Zane, obviously. Really cool. I love these minifigures. These are some of my favorite Ninja minifigures that LEGO has produced. Also, some cool back printing on this Zane minifigure. Yes, I'm very excited and happy about this one. Let's go ahead and open up another pack. We're going to save this one till a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. Let's open up this one here from the middle and see what else we can open up. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get another ninja, perhaps. It is. No, it's not a ninja. It's Mr. E from Sons of Garmadon. 
Not only was this minifigure a fan favorite in the episodes, but I think that the minifigure itself came out very nice. Some great back printing, the aesthetic of the black and red together, that visor, and the eyes, the printing there on the torso, all of it together makes this a great minifigure. Let's move on to the very next pack of mystery minifigures here for Ninjago. Honestly, the way that the seller packaged these is absolutely amazing. So much fun. The next minifigure, we got another villain. This is, I believe, the Soul Archer from the Possession Season. Alright, let's be honest here, I think the Possession Season Ghosts were some of the best minifigures that LEGO has put out for the villains, among the Serpentine and a few others. I think these guys look great, just the color combinations here of this ghost piece on the very bottom. And underneath here, you guys can see that the head is this sort of translucent yellowish green. I love that in the minifigures, kind of resembles some of the transparency that we see in the Ice Chapter, or like the Ice Emperor for this year. Really, really cool. I love that facial printing under there, and this bow piece is quite cool cool as well. For this next one, I decided we'd go two at a time here just for fun, because why not? Here we go. We got two more here at the same time. The minifigures are... Looks like we got a villain and a ninja. This, I believe this is, yes, this is Legacy Lloyd, and we got Bitar, one of the minifigures from the Constricti tribe. These are a weird pair of minifigures to see together since the time difference between them is literally seven years, which is absolutely insane to think about. Bytar here from 2012, Legacy Lloyd obviously from 2019. That's pretty insane though that Lego Ninjago has been going on for so long and I hope it continues for just as long into the future. Honestly, that was really fun to open up two at a time, so I think we're going to do it again with this pack and we'll do this one here. Alright, we got our two packs here. Let's go ahead and dump them out and see which two minifigures we get. And it looks like we have Pixel here from Rebooted and one of the Possession Ghosts. I believe this is Cowler, perhaps his name is? Honestly, I can never really remember the generic ghost names for the Possession Season of Ninjago, but I do remember this guy. His name is Cowler because he came in that poly bag that was literally everywhere. It was called like Cowler's Dragon or something. I'll have a little picture up so you guys can see it. And then we have Pixel on the other hand. This is actually a very rare minifigure. Only came in one set, which was the Ninja Copter in this appearance of her. This was the very first time that we got Pixel. Came with a double-sided head as well. One with green eyes, which is the predominant one. And then one over here where she has her red eyes. Alright, we have successfully opened up 10 different packs of mystery LEGO Ninjago minifigures. Just wanted to remind you guys about the giveaway. Be sure to enter because you guys can pick any three of the minifigures that I open up in this video. Just comment them down below, complete the rest of the steps on screen right now, and you'll be entered. In a few days, I'll pick the winner randomly and pin the comment at the top of the comment section of this video. But let's go ahead and open up the next pack here. So let's go ahead and continue on. This is the 11th pack of this video, the 11th minifigure. The minifigure is, it appears that this is Torbin, I believe, from the Lego Ninjago movie. Torbin here is a citizen of Ninjago City, and I believe in the Ninjago movie wave, he came in the Ice Tank set. I think that's the only set you would be able to get him in. He's definitely not one of the more desirable minifigures that we've opened up, but still a really cool one to add to the Ninjago civilian collection of mine. Next pack here, I'm still looking for a Spitta minifigure. I don't even care if it's the Legacy Spitta, I just want to get a Spitta minifigure at some point. Didn't get one in the first video I did of opening up 20 of these packs, but hopefully we can get one maybe in this video. Perhaps this is even one, I don't even know. Alright, let's go ahead and dump out this one, see what else we can get. That's not Spitta, that's for sure, but that is the Golden Dragon Master. Golden Ninjago minifigures are always some of my favorite. I don't know, maybe it's just the aesthetic of them. They just look important and valuable. This one is not necessarily valuable as he did come in his own Dragon Master set, which retailed for $15 back in Season 9 of Ninjago, but still a really cool minifigure to have and some great back printing on this one as well. Now, of course, as always, it's time to open up another minifigure blind bag here. Honestly, 30 is pretty ridiculous for a video, so I'm going to go a little bit faster here and we'll see what else we can get. We have a Nia minifigure here. Now, you'll notice that this Nia minifigure is one of the old ones with the old Nia hair before the movie. I believe this is the Day of the Departed Nia minifigure, but I think this minifigure may have came in one of the poly bags. I believe, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but if I have, find a picture of it, it's on screen right now, so you guys can check it out. I think that it came under Hands of Time, even though it was a day that it parted. I believe there was a poly bag like that, and that is where this minifigure comes from. Kind of interesting. 
Next up is a minifigure pack that seems unusually large compared to the other ones, so perhaps there's an interesting piece in here, or a large armor piece. I don't know though, let's see what it is. And I, there isn't really a large piece actually, maybe it's, it's the helmet here with this little top piece on here. This is Scooter from the Sons of Garmadon. Now this Sons of Garmadon biker minifigure actually has a legacy, but it's not a good one. If you guys watched my video on top 10 least valuable Ninjago minifigures, well guess who was number one? This guy. This is the least valuable Ninjago minifigure to this date, which is ridiculous, is because he came in that poly bag like the Sons of Garmadon bike or something like that, and it was everywhere, it was literally everywhere, it got clearanced out, anyway, so the minifigure is worth practically nothing, but hey, it's a good army builder, I guess, if you guys want to grow your Sons of Garmadon army or something. Alright, we got another double pack opening coming up here, let's see what's in these two packs. We have both our packs open here, so let's go ahead and see what's inside. We have a J minifigure as well as a Samurai X. Is this one from Legacy? Oh yes, it is. In all honesty, I guess it is quite appropriate for these two minifigures to come together. Over here on the left is JZX from 2012, the Serpentine season. These are some classic minifigures that we got, the ZX Ninja. And then over here we have Legacy Mia. This one came in the Samurai Mech set in earlier 2019. I really do like Samurai X minifigures. They all look kind of similar, but they all have unique printing on them as well. Overall, two great minifigures. Now remember that we still have this unique pack that has a black Ninjago logo on it instead of red. Still not sure why the seller has it like this, if this was a mistake or maybe it's signifying that there is a very special minifigure in here. Nonetheless, we'll check out this one a little bit later in the video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Alright, let's go ahead and check out some more packs. Let's do another two in one. We'll check out these two packs next. Alright, here we go. We got our two packs opened up. Let's see what is in each of them. And the minifigures are two Zanes, is this? Yes, it is. We got two Zanes. Wow, what are our chances of getting that? That's ironic. Well, that was quite interesting to see a Zane minifigure come out of both of those packs there. We have these two figures here. The one on the left, I believe, is from that poly bag that that Nia minifigure that we looked at earlier in this video is from. I believe it's from that same poly bag. So we basically have both those minifigures now from that poly bag that came out around Hands of Time. And then the one on the right here is Hands of Time Zane. They both have their very much so a titanium look, but I really love the addition of the hair piece here. That's always great. I love getting hair for the ninja and this one in particular having it be that titanium silver color I think that is fantastic now for future reference and use in my videos I'd love to hear your guys's thoughts on whether you guys like to see multiple packs open at the same time such as our two pack openings we've been doing lately or if you guys like single packs in which we'll be doing a few of those going on right now but let me know your guys's thoughts with the poll that would be greatly appreciated thank you for that alright let's go ahead and open up our next pack here and see what is inside looks like a little bit of blue perhaps maybe we have a J mini figure in here let's see no, no, it's not a J minifigure. It's a Zane minifigure, but not just any Zane minifigure. This is Zane DX. This is one of the best Zane minifigures ever made. With this minifigure, we have now officially gotten three Zane minifigures in a row. I guess this is just one of those weird coincidences that happens, but I love this minifigure. I think this is my second favorite energy ninja behind Jay, but I love the light blue. It's very unique. You don't see this on any other ninja minifigure or Ninjago minifigure in that manner. I just love it. Some great detailing here. The energy ninja just definitely do not disappoint. Next pack here. Let's go ahead and open this one up and see what else we are able to get in this video. This next minifigure is... It is a Cole minifigure. I think this is going to complement our JZX quite nicely because this is Cole ZX. Now, unlike the J minifigure that we opened in this video, this Cole minifigure here actually comes with armor here as well as it doubles as the sword holder you guys know of. Also, you guys can see the back printing there of Cole's emblem. I love these ZX Ninja minifigures. I collected most of the 2012 sets. That was really my favorite wave of sets. So I have a lot of this guy, but he definitely brings back a lot of nostalgia for me as well. Honestly, I really do like this minifigure. Once again, we are going to open up yet another pack. Surprise, of course, that's what we're doing in this video. All right, next pack. This one seems a bit large as well, so we'll see what is inside this pack. The minifigure is... Wait, no way, we got another Mr. E, but wait, this one has... 
This one has the extra set of arms. It appears that these minifigures are just getting crazier and luckier as we go throughout this video, as we did uh, get another Mr. E minifigure, but this time he is upgraded with the Oni Mask of Vengeance there at the very top. And overall, I think this is just a very, very lucky grab, or lucky, I guess, opening from these blind bags. Next minifigure pack here is... Oh, look at that. It's the original Lloyd Garmadon from 2012. Came in that little booster pack, I believe. This was a surprise to see whenever I opened up that bag. Honestly, I sometimes forget about this minifigure that we got back in 2012. He also came in the Fangpire Wrecking Ball set. And you want to know something really cool about this figure? Well, it was staring us in the face the entire time. See this five on his torso right there? What color is it? It's green. Yes. What does he end up becoming? The Green Ninja. Why is there a five? Well, because he ends up being the fifth ninja on the team. This was before Neo was considered a ninja, because she was Samurai X at the time. Pretty crazy stuff. It was staring us right in the face in 2012, and I don't think many people caught on to that until he actually became the Green Ninja. Alright, and just for fun, I opened up four of them here, just cracked them open. Haven't looked inside yet, but we're just going to dump them out real fast. We're going to do, like, a rapid fire here. So the first one out of the four is... Angler from the Lego Ninjago movie. The second one is, I believe that is Dragon Master Kai from Hunted. Third one is, looks like that's Jungle Garmadon from the Lego Ninjago movie. And the last one out of this rapid fire is, oh look at that, we got another Oni. Well that sure was a very fast way of opening up these minifigures, and here are the four that we just received. Pretty cool figs, none of them are exceptionally rare, especially the Lego Ninjago movie ones, but hey, Still really cool minifigures. Now we have almost made it to this peculiar pack. We've only got three more and so I've decided that we're going to speed through these as well. Do a very, very quick opening of these three and see exactly what we have for our last three minifigures. The first one is... Wait, no way guys, we got, we got a Spitta. We got a Spitta, we finally did. We didn't get one in the first episode, but we got one in the second. Although it's not the version of Spitta that is the mascot for my channel, it is the legacy version, which, hey, it is a Spitta minifigure. It's not the best out of the two, but I'll take it, that's for sure. We finally got a Spitta minifigure so close at the very end here. We almost didn't get one. I'm very excited. This is a good pickup. All right, back to the speed opening. We've got two more here. The first one is a J minifigure, looks like from the Tournament of Elements. And the second one here, the very last one before we check out the special pack, is... That is a Stone Warrior minifigure from the final battle. Here are the two minifigures we just opened up. Over here on the right is the Tournament of Elements J. I love that classic J hairpiece here that's sort of that brownish-orange color before, of course, they introduced the Ninjago movie, different hairstyle for J. And then over here on the left, we have the Stone Army Warrior. Basically, you know, he's, he's really just a warrior. He was super common back in 2013. Nowadays, though, since he is the original... I guess, version of him and not the legacy version, he is still pretty special. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to reveal the secrets behind this peculiar minifigure pack compared to the other ones. This one has black lettering here, while the other ones have red. Don't know why the seller did this. Maybe there's a special figure in here. I don't really know. The rest of the pack looks pretty normal, and I guess it is time to reveal the hidden secrets and what is inside this pack. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Remember to enter the giveaway. You guys can just list your guys' three minifigures you guys want to win down below in the comments. Follow the other rules, such as subscribing to the channel and leaving a like down below. And let's see what is inside this pack. What do you guys think it is? You guys think it's a ninja, a villain, it's one of the new characters for... I don't even know, Season 11, I guess, the Ice Chapter, Ice Emperor, I don't really know. Let's see what is in this last pack, and the, it is, oh, look at that, it's actually a Sons of Garmadon Lloyd, oh, wait, they actually have Baby Wu, huh, okay, so this is from the Temple of Resurrection, this is almost like getting two in one, we got two different characters, obviously, we got Lloyd, and we got Sensei Wu. Now there's actually something really interesting here, so listen to this. So basically, I bought a total of 53 of these packs. You guys saw 20 in the first video on my channel, and then I opened up three as a bonus video on my second channel, if you guys haven't already watched that, and then I opened up the 30 here. But in that video, on that bonus video on my second channel, which is linked right here above on the top right corner of the screen, I actually opened up three packs, and one of them had two minifigures on the inside. Not even joking. 
like two full minifigures, not just like one little character like a baby here and a minifigure. No, two full minifigures. So if you guys want to check that out, be sure to check it out. There's a link down below in the description as well as on screen on the card on the top right hand corner. Anyways, really crazy that this one has that similar sort of aspect going towards it. And as far as the color of the bag, it probably was just the seller, you know, made it that one color first and then realized that it would look cooler when red or something. I don't really know. You guys can speculate down below. But I think that pretty much solves the mystery of what was inside that peculiar mystery bag. That's going to wrap up today's video, but be sure to check out the second channel in order to watch that video that I mentioned that I got two minifigures in one pack. It was absolutely insane. Highly recommend you guys go ahead and check that one out. Leave a like on this video if you guys did enjoy, and as always, subscribe to the main channel here for more Ninjago content. I'll see you guys all in the next video coming very soon.